call you guys about a time. <laughs> Chill with Jacob and his boys. Like it's just gonna be vibes. Like let's do it. We Uber to the car train station. We car train all the way to Rosebank. We still in communication with Jacob. Jacob's like, yeah, we'll pick you up. We'll pick you up. We'll pick you up. Yeah, all lies I'm telling you. Jacob himself does not have a car. Jacob himself does not have a trap house. Jacob himself is not the squad provider. And so now we're having vibes. Like we're just like. We don't have to stress, we have a place to stay. Our parents think we're safe. Ah, you see, ah, guys, we pulled this off. Ride or die, ride or die, we pulled this off. What a night. Then, <laughs> I get a phone call from my mom. I answer normally, like, hi, mom, how are you? You know, all vibrant, all, you know, normal. And then she's like to me, where were you last night? please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you're not new to my channel then you already know the vibes bitch as you guys can see from the title of this video this is a part two to my first story time about how my friends and i slept at mcdonald's and almost got caught if you haven't seen that video please go watch it first so that you understand the context of this video it'll be somewhere up here i'll definitely put it there be sure to check that video out first guys small asks me where i was last night so I explained to her, like, we went to go do the survey thing at the mall. It ran a bit over time. Like, we said we'd be home at 8. But we got back around, like, 10. Like, it ran over time. She says, okay, shop. My mom comes to pick me up and Rio's mom is not home yet. So I'm like, at least. Like, they didn't bump into each other. Because if they bumped into each other, it would have been that thing of, oh, thank you for taking the girls yesterday. What? what, what, what. <laughs> so I was like, friend, we are home free. Like, we are done with this mission. We are done. So I get home, everything is fine. She doesn't ask me any questions. We're chilling. So that was on Sunday. Monday, we go to school, ride or die, and I'm like, oh, friend, this weekend, this weekend, <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> we're telling our other friends, Joey's also there, Jacob is there. Like, we're just like, yo, this weekend was crazy. Guys, we slept at McDonald's. We slept at McDonald's. So then around half past six, seven in the evening, that Monday, I get a text from Buya saying, friend, we're here. Two seconds later, there's a knock on my front door. I'm like, what is going on? Buya walks in the house. She goes straight to my room, straight to my room. She comes in. She's like, friend, they know. Like, friend, they know. <laughs> and I'm like, what? What? She's like, friend, my mom knows. Like, she knows that, number one, your mom didn't pick us up. She knows that we didn't sleep at your house. Like, friend, she knows. Let me explain to you how we live, right? Like, where Vuyo and I stay. So, it's the mall here, Vuyo's house, my house. So, it didn't make sense that my mom took us from the mall to sleep at my house because it would be passing Vuyo's house. So, that's kind of how they knew, ah, here. Yeah. Mmm, there's something, there's something shady here. And then Vuya's mom tried to call my mom, but Kelly wasn't answering. Remember, like it's about Kelly. Oh, guys, what is the lies were catching up? <laughs> guys, the lies were catching up to us. And now I'm like, okay, friend, like we need a plan. Like, firstly, where did we sleep? Because we didn't go to anyone's house. We were basically at McDonald's the whole fucking night. We need a proper explanation for all of this because first lie starts with the project and the project is not even real oh guys then my mom calls us into her room we're going to her room she's like um who was acting as her my mom was asking me who was acting as her guys i was gonna try to save kelly because i'm like guys kelly wasn't even a part of this we are blitzed out our friend kelly like she has an extra sim card what 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 so she's the one who acted as you they're like where does kelly live so i'm like no like she lives in the estate what 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 they're like, we're driving there. Oh, hell no. <gasps> <Lazo>. <laughs> we 
we drive to Kelly's house, guys. Yo, guys, that time I'm scared. I'm trying to text Kelly, like, dude, like, <laughs> I'm trying to text Kelly, telling her it's messed, it's messed up, it's late. We come into your house. Kelly is panicking. This guys, Kelly's mom is strict. Like Kelly's mom is strict. We get to Kelly's house. Yo, guys, and her mom is there. Our parents explain everything. Like they explain the whole like acting as my mom. And yo, guys, Kelly is dead. She is shitting her pants because that time. Kelly wasn't even out with us. Like, she never even reaped the benefits of the lie. <laughs> and now the parents are talking now. And I'm like, ride or die. Like, they're going to ask us where we slept. Because they did ask us and we never said anything. And they're like, okay, fine. We're starting at Kelly's house. We're going to Kelly's house. Where's to Kelly's house? Everything to her mom. Everything, everything. I'm like, friend, where did we sleep? Like, we need... Oh, guys, I'm stressing. I'm going through my contacts. I'm like, dude, who can we call? Then I see... <laughs> Then I see my friend CJ texted me that night and she was like, are you guys still at Maitland? My friend and I are looking for vibes. And I didn't reply at that time. Um, I don't know why I didn't reply to her message, but like I didn't. Then I messaged her. I'm like, hey girl, like I see you messaged me on Saturday night. What was happening? Like, what did you guys do? She's like, no, I was home alone. So like we were just having vibes at the cribbo. I'm like, listen, we are in shit right now. Okay. And we need you. Please just say we slept at your house. And she's like, Yo, guys, I don't know if I'll be able to do that because my parents don't even know I had people over. And I'm like, please, friend, like, please. So she got in trouble because she had people over just to save our asses, guys. Just to save our asses. Yo, I'll never forget. Girl, if you're watching this, you know, you know yourself. If you're watching this, I love you, girl. Then our parents are like, where did you guys sleep? We're like, no, we slept at CK's crib. We're like, we're going to her house. I feel like we are going to CK's house. Ah! We're texting her like, friend, we're coming right now with our parents. She's like, what? Shit. <laughs> now, CK and her friend live in the same estate, a few houses down from each other. We get to CK's house, our parents get in. We go outside, like, because the parents are talking. So we're outside. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you. So, according to CK's parents, the only person who stepped over was KB, right? So, now, we need to tell Cabello the plan. Like, as in, that we actually stepped over at CK's house. But now, I don't know if Cabello didn't have a phone or I don't know what happened. But we literally had to run down. Yo, guys! So, our parents are inside talking. Like, my mom, Vu's mom, CK's mom, they're talking. Now, us, we need to tell Cabello the plan in case they call Cabello as well. So we run down the street, guys. We ran, we ran. <laughs> we knock on Cabello's house. We're like, girl, listen, this is the plan. We slept over at CK's house. We pulled up around this time, this time. Like, if they call you, that's the plan. She's like, oh shit, okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Guys, they end up calling Cabello. They call Cabela. Cabela's within the plan. Also, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They did sleep here. They did sleep here. Then they asked the nanny, nah? because there were two people that came into the estate that night. Two people came into the estate that night, but it wasn't you and I. So we were saved by the fact that two people actually did come. So when they asked the nanny, like, were these the two people that came? The nanny was like, I don't remember their faces. Like, I don't know if it was them. So I'm like, at least you don't remember so you can't say no it's not these two <laughs> guys uh, they had a whole intervention at CK's house all the parents all the kids guys that time CK is being thrown under the bus nah that time we didn't even sleep at her house but she was there guys <laughs> so then our parents are like talking and then you know like we apologize about the whole thing like not coming back home and like chilling at CK's crib what, 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 what. but guys the people we dragged down with us in the story ow I can't but at the end of the day guys we went all the way to Johannesburg we came back we slept at McDonald's we slept at some trap house and then we still got home and we didn't get caught for all of that ow guys <laughs> I'll take what I can get Honestly, I will take what I can get. And I'm sure everyone that was involved in that situation is watching that video like, yo, guys, that weekend, I never again. <laughs> guys, I would just like never again. 
But y'all yeah, guys, I had crazy high school experiences. And honestly, there are way more stories, especially with my ride or die night. Yo, guys, we were like this. When it comes to missioning, all the time, all the time. Ah, we are Lutanda, we are Lutanda. Ride or die, ride or die, ride or die, ride or die. Ah, guys. No, it was crazy. And guys, honestly speaking, if I do do another story time that involves like my ride or die and I, I will have her in the video as well so that, you know, <laughs> you can get all the tea, baby. All right, guys, so that's the end of the story time. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.